Okay, there we go. All right. Um, hey, guys, thank you all for coming. This is fun. I love these Zooms. Um, just in case you didn't hear, if you need um, to ask anything during this, um, go to the chat button below, and you can type anything in, and I'll try to watch that. Um, and at the end, if we have time, then we'll, y'all can ask anything. Um, I just try to keep them in an hour for everybody's sake, and I know y'all have little ones, too. So anyways, um, my name is Beth Anderson, and I am a Diamond Ambassador with Plexus. Actually, Diamond Silver, that's new. I have to remember to say that. Um, I started my journey in March of 2013, so coming up on three years next month, which is absolutely crazy. Um, how did I, I started, um, like this because several of my friends, including Celeste Quinn and Ariel Post and Rainey Anderson and several others at our school were taking Plexus and I watched them for about eight months and I thought they were crazy. I had never taken any kind of supplements, never really even taken vitamins. I couldn't swallow pills. And so, and when I was pregnant, I was so sick. I couldn't take anything. I would chew Flintstones every once in a while, but so I was never really, um, worried about my health I would but I was training for a half marathon and um, I started gaining quite a bit of weight which is really weird because I had done that previously and never gained any weight you know I'm running miles and miles and miles and gaining weight and that I'm like this is not gonna work so um, about that same time Celeste decided to become an ambassador and she called me and she said I think you need to do this and I was like absolutely not um, I was very turned off by um, network marketing my mom had done just about every network marketing thing in the book and she you know did all these parties again and that meant I did all the parties you know a lot of the parties for her because she had to have so many and she'd come in like dragging all this stuff in and you know drenched in sweat and maybe made like 20 bucks I don't know how much she made but it wasn't much and so I was so turned off I, that was not fun but she loved it um but she kind of given all of that up about the time that Plexus started um but my husband said, let's just try the products. And so, of course, we signed up to get the discount. And I did not think the products were going to work, even though I knew that they were going to work because I saw my friends do it. And I was not going to work the business. Um, at that time, I actually was working a couple of different part-time jobs. And Scott traveled all the time. And uh, we have two boys that are very active in sports. So I was so busy. I did not have time for plexus. Um, however, God had a different plan for me and quickly changed my mind and I started sharing plexus. So on the health side, I ended up losing about 18 pounds in three months on the slim alone. Um, it also helped me totally kick my soda, soda, like not cravings, like soda addiction. I drank Coke all the time and um, my sugar cravings. Um, on the business side, y'all kind of, I'm sure what well, y'all may know this but um i just started sharing with my friends and they started sharing with their friends and so i went uh, emerald in eight months and diamond in 11 months and so um i'm so thankful so crazy uh it's been a wild ride and um anyway so that's just a shortened version of my story but uh, if i can do it i will tell you that anyone can do it i am not a salesperson i don't have a super outgoing personality um, if somebody told me I was going to speak in front of two people, much less be on Zooms and speaking at meetings, I would have laughed at them because that is so not me. Um, I'm just a normal person. It, but I, but this is one thing I have always shared when like I found something new that I that I liked. For instance, a new restaurant or a new nail salon or a new boutique. Um, and so really that's what I'm doing with Lexus. I'm sharing my pat, you know, something that I like. It wasn't a passion when I first heard it. I liked it. And so. Um, Anyways, that is my short story. So I know y'all have some questions for me. So we'll go ahead and get started on those. Okay. Question one. How do you continue to help or coach your customers who seem like they don't want it? We don't want people feeling like our products don't work when they haven't really given them a fair shot. Okay, so um, here's the deal. Some customers are going to do it like they're supposed to, and some just are not. I have some customers that I've had from the very beginning, and I've had many customers quit along the way. Now, in saying that, some of those customers come back to me. Some of those customers, the next month, you see them selling their bag of slim on online garage sale, which means they didn't take it like they were supposed to, right? 
So I just really try to check in with people, you know, at the beginning, once every, you know, week, every two weeks. And then, you know, it, it may slow down, especially the ones that I have. If I was still emailing the ones that I've had for almost three years every week, they would probably be annoyed with me. So I kind of play it by ear. But um, we know that Plexus works. And so I really feel like just keeping in constant communication with those newbies and figuring out um, how they're feeling. And, you know, just by starting off, and this is something that's totally different because when I first started, I didn't even know about the health products. I thought it was just weight loss. And so I very rarely even start off, well, I never start off talking about the weight loss, but I very rarely even talk about the weight loss until the very end. Because people have this, you know, everything, everybody wants a quick fix. It's a quick fix. I want a quick fix. I want to lose 10 pounds in two weeks. Well, are there people that have lost 10 pounds in two weeks? Maybe so. Um, but there's a whole lot more people that have lost 10 pounds in maybe four or five months. You know, um, my sister-in-law, Mandy, she's lost over 60 pounds. She didn't lose a single pound for eight weeks. Um, and so, but she had to figure out how the products work for her. And she, she really had to come to the realization that her gut wasn't healthy. And so she has learned how to, you know, get the products right with her. Um, the other thing, you know, some people don't lose any weight. I have another friend who has gone from a size 10, 12 to a 4, 6 and only lost like 3 or 4 pounds. I mean, that's a huge difference in inches for only 3 or 4 pounds. So if you just kind of are up front with people, you know, with that, say, how do you feel? Are you sleeping better? Do you have more energy? You know, are you still drinking sodas? And thinking about those things instead of just thinking, I haven't lost weight, we've got to get out of that mentality because yeah. Plexus does so much more than weight loss. And we all know that. But I think that our customers sometimes don't know that. People still think Plexus is just a weight loss company. Mm -hmm. and so they want that instant gratification. Well, that's not how Plexus works. And so I think just informing them up front, uh, you know, of what can or can't happen um, helps eliminate a lot of that. Um, in saying that, not everyone is patient. And so sometimes if we've tried and we've tried to help them the best that we can and they're still adamant that it's not working, you just kind of, Celeste says, you have to bless and release. Um, mm -hmm. That's not saying they won't come back. I promise, guys, I've had people come back like crazy, people that yeah. – you know, say it doesn't work, but you know, six months later, you see them order again. Sometimes they won't tell you, they'll just pop on there. And then I had one girl, I, a messenger, and she never would message, message me back. I'm thinking, you don't know that I know that you ordered this product. It's just funny. People are weird like that sometimes, you know. It's a secret. So, <laughs> anyways, but yeah, that's how I handle that. I mean, sometimes you just have to realize that somebody, you know, some people just really aren't going to do it and they're really not going to commit. And the other thing is, you know, some people can say they're taking it all the right ways, but if they're not doing their part, then it's not going to work. I mean, mm -hmm. for instance, you know, if you aren't craving sugar, but you're still eating three pieces of pie at dinner, which people do that, then it's not going to work. You have to listen to your body and you have to change some of your habits. You can't continue eating. Do I eat perfect all the time? Absolutely not. Do I have a piece of pie every once in a while? I do, but I don't have it every single day. Like I used to crave, I used to bake all the time. And, um, my kids now kind of have to beg me to bake. So you have to listen to your body and just letting your customers know that I think is. Yeah. Okay, let's go to number two. How do you handle uneducated people when the first thing they say is Plexus is an FDA approved, Plexus didn't work for me, I Googled Plexus and read bad reviews, or the infamous that's a pyramid scheme? Well, I think knowledge is power, and I think that we have to train. As soon as we get a new ambassador, those are some of the, the questions that you need to train them on immediately. Is it FDA approved? No. No vitamins or supplements are FDA approved. You need to look and see what is FDA approved. In saying that, even though we're not FDA approved, um, the FDA watches us very closely. I was in New Mexico this weekend doing some meetings, and there's a lady, an ambassador there that um, I met last time I was in New Mexico, but she works for a cancer center. And uh, she actually develops trials and things. And so she has a lot of connections with the FDA. And so when she started researching, I mean, she would have researched every ingredient of every product. In fact, she's taught me a lot of things. Even this weekend, we were sitting at a table and she was telling me things. I'm like, that's so cool. I didn't know that. But she actually contacted the FDA. And um, there was no, like, bad reports, bad anything on file for us. And um, they, But they do, even though they don't 
uh, approve any supplements or vitamins, they still watch us very closely. So if we're doing something wrong, uh, we would know about it for sure. Um, the other, uh, what was the other? I'm sorry. The pyramid, the pyramid scheme. The pyramid schemes. Well, again, is knowledge is power. It's not a pyramid scheme. I mean, there's people under me who may have made more than me. There's people that can jump me. I see it all the time people jumping, you know, their sponsor in rank and. So that's not a pyramid if you can go, you know, above you also, we have, that's why we have to have our outside leg. You can't just make money off of one person in their team. You have to go, you know, wide as well. And so um, just knowing that, and I think the only way they're going to know that is if we teach them immediately, those things should be answered immediately. You know, they, it should be one of the first things that we tell them in training. So. Okay. Thank you. Number three. Uh, how many times do you mes message someone after you know they've seen your Facebook message but don't respond? How do you do it without seeming pushy or annoying? Well, um, I'll tell you, first of all, I had a very hard time with this at first, the follow-up, you know, following up with people, because I didn't want to be pushy. And I have ambassadors who are senior Ruby and, you know, other people, other ambassadors that tell me if you were pushy, I would be diamond by now. I think actually Diane Gerard has stated that in my diamond documentary. I'm not a pushy person. Um, kind of goes back with that. I'm not a salesperson. So um, that was very hard for me. But really how I first started doing it and still continue is, you know, hey, I just, um, I, um, I know I messaged you, you know, a week or two ago, but I just wondered if you had time to read the information, if you had any questions. You know, if they say that they're going to order and they don't, just gently nudge them every once in a while and say, hey, I know you said you're going to order. Just let me know if you need anything. Just checking in, you know, um, love to help you in any way. And just gently put, gently nudge them without being pushy, you know, every once in a while. Yeah. Number four, when someone asks you, what is Plexus? What's the one liner you say to them to get them to want more? Well, um, if I'm out and about, this has happened quite a bit lately. Um, I typically say Plexus is a health and wellness company. We focus on blood sugars and um, healthy cholesterol levels. We have very many different lines of products. We have a pain management. We have a gut health. We have a nerve repair. And we have a great vitamin and omega product. So I just keep it real brief. Um, if I know, like, the other day I was at the doctor's office and I had an Aplexus shirt. And somebody was like, what is that? I've heard of that, but what is it? And I said, well, you know, I just kind of started – sharing and you know that's what I said and I was like you know gut health I've had people that have major stomach problems who their stomachs are feeling better and she's like oh my gosh I have stomach problems so just kind of like keeping it brief you know of course we can't like say medical claims but you know just keeping it brief saying you know pain you know pain management uh, chronic pain nerve pain you know so anyways just keep it very short and sweet let them ask for more because you don't right. want to give them too much and that's one thing I did have to learn even like at the beginning when somebody would say hey I want information on flexes I would send them like 500 documents now if I was going to open an email and have to read 500 documents I'd be checked that off the list I'm not going to buy that I'm not reading all that so, so very some people do want all the documents but start it short and sweet and let them ask for more when you have bragged about how much it's helped you but still can't seem to get others on board what do you do or say like I know we have um, some ambassadors who have been silver for about a year and I they feel like they've exhausted their Facebook resources, their Facebook friends, where do they go from there? Um, well, I think right there you said a lot of it. Um, all you said that they've exhausted is their Facebook friends. Um, that's huge, right? We have to stop depending on Facebook. Yes, Facebook is an amazing tool, I promise. Like, I still um, get people from Facebook. So first off, never stop. Never stop posting, keep posting every single day. Uh, in the same breath, I'm saying, do your Facebook business. That doesn't mean scroll for three hours. Do your Facebook business and hop off of Facebook. Um, I encourage people, if they have not done this, to pick up their phone. Um, pick up their phone and start going through their contact list. Write their contacts down and write next to it um, why you think Plexus can help that person. I was at a lunch a few months ago and um, – the girl was like, she was super close to getting her 500 for the month. And I was like, and she kept giving me every excuse in the book. And so I was like, all right, 
pick up your phone. And she was like, what? I pick up your phone and start calling people. I said, I want you to look through your phone list and I want you to think of why that person needs plexus. Y'all, she started calling people and she's like, oh my gosh, they need plexus for this and they need plexus for this. And she got it. And I mean, it, so many times we just think Facebook and one of our very best friends may not have ever seen our posts on Facebook. Facebook is so random these days and how people see things. We cannot depend on Facebook. And um, another thing, you know, um, like I said, I was in New Mexico this week and they kept telling us Farmington is so saturated. Everybody knows about Plexus. It so kind of became a joke. Kaylin, my best friend from college and I were there. And so we were on a mission to prove them wrong. So everywhere we would go, we would ask. We would just go up and ask a simple question. Have you ever heard of Plexus? Not a single person that we talked to, and we talked to lots, had ever heard of Plexus. Well, just in saying that, we would say, okay, thank you. They would ask, well, what is it? You know, we've asked that question. We're, and, and it was funny, the first time Kaylin did it, she was I asked you a question. She said, I'm not trying to tell you anything. I just have a simple question. And she was like, okay. She goes, what is Plexus? I mean, she goes, have you ever heard of Plexus? And the lady was like, no. And she was like, okay, thank you. And she goes, well, what is it? So people are going to ask. So it's just getting out there. Where are your Maybe plexus? that should be our new one-liner. I, seriously, I was amazed. And so we were at the grocery Okay, the funniest story about that is we were at the grocery store and we were checking out. And so Sheila, who lives in Farmington, was like, I'm going to video y'all doing this to prove to my team that y'all really did this. So she starts videoing us at Albert's and then Kaylin starts asking the cashier. And the cashier goes, you cannot video me. It is against the rules. It's illegal. And we're like, okay, whatever. So um, she looked at the phone down and Kaylin goes, okay, so have you ever heard of Plexus? And she goes, no. And she, she goes, I said, okay. I mean, Kaylin goes, okay, thank you. And so I were standing there checking out. I go, well, do you want to know what it is? And she was like, yeah. So we started telling her, or she, we made Sheila start telling her. Well, in the middle of it, the guy behind her was like, what is it? It helps cholesterol. It helps your blood sugar. I don't sleep at night. So he's listening in. So there's, uh, there's a potential that we have right there. And so Sheila emailed him and um, hopefully that's going to be a great sell. I mean, we gave him, we were pulling samples out of everywhere. It was so funny. One sample we pulled out, I had like holes in it. I'm like the powder was coming out. We're like, Here's I did that this morning too. At, uh, I went to a mom's group at the church and she's like, do you have a sample? And the one I pulled out was like, Probably like six months old, like super flat. Yeah. And I, was, so was, I took one out yeah. of the three packs and gave it to her. But note to self in all of that is that you always need to have samples, especially if you're doing that. But how simple is that? Can I ask you a question? Have you ever heard of Plexus? Go in a yeah. group and do it. It was real easy yeah. when we were in a group. So yeah. I think I unmuted it. Do what? <laughs> I unmuted it! Yay! Yay! I just, I just figured it out. <laughs> so anyway, that's it. Just, just, I mean, yes, Facebook is an absolutely amazing tool, and never quit doing it. I had a girl the other day that I really, I guess, didn't even know it was on Facebook, or maybe I knew, but she never has liked a single personal post, a single. Plexus post, I never see her post anything. Out of the blue, she messaged me and she said, I've been meaning to message you for a long time. I want to join your team. And I'm like, well, where did that come from? But she's been watching me. Just tonight, I had another guy message me and he's trying to get me to do something else. It kind of made me laugh. He wants me. He, his comment was, I've been watching you for a long time and I know you have a lot of guys that have lost weight. So do you want to so close with my wife? And I'm like, no, I'm good. Thank you. But <laughs> the people are watching, even though we think they aren't watching. People are watching. I, that, I even told that story today to one of my new ambassadors that I woke up one morning and I had a new ambassador. She had never liked a post, never commented, and she's been an active ambassador for probably six months and she loves the products, but she never messaged me, never commented, never liked a picture. And I just got the email, you have a new ambassador. I'm like, so they are, they're watching. They're watching. They are. So never give up, but just don't depend on it. Right. Okay. Um, business question. I want to ask if it's recommended to have taxes withheld from our plexus check. Okay. So this is my take on that. Um, yes, first of all, but I can't say to eat. Everybody is so different. Every state is different. Every family household is different. It depends on, you know, how much money you make, how much you need to take out, how much your spouse is taking out, how many, all of that. So my advice truthfully is to get with your accountant. If you don't have an accountant, um, 
especially the, the higher up you go, um, you definitely need to get one. I actually switched mine over to a business, um, a business account through my accountant because um, the taxes, it's not done differently, but you can have different write-offs and stuff like that for a business. And actually I, on my personal, like my personal taxes, I don't, I don't get my whole paycheck. So some of it says our business account. So my personal taxes, I'm not sure. Yeah, we still do it through our pay portal. I know on our old system, it gave us an option. I'm not I sure about that. I never did that. Honestly, yeah, I just I did it myself. Um, so I'm really not hundred percent sure about that. I know that you can keep it in that. Um, you can keep it in your pay portal, you know, but you like a percentage of it. Yeah, and then manually transfer it wherever you need to manually transfer it. But um, but yeah, the higher up you go, I definitely would suggest um, eventually looking into the business account, especially when you hit jewel level. But I can't, I mean, it's, yes, you need to with, withhold something, hold them back somewhere, you know, put it in a savings account because you are going to get hit with that um, at the end of the year. But it just depends on how much by depending on your life circumstances every and save day. your receipts and yeah yeah save travel. all your receipts I mean business travel you know like if you're at a meeting and you're eating lunch um, you know your cell phone just ask your accountant because there's so many different things and um, because we're 1099 sometimes it you, you just have to figure it out with your accountant I, yeah. I don't, Scott handles that part of our business. <laughs> Him and his are accountant. Like we send her. We actually, we actually have an accountant on our team. Andrea is oh, so tax questions. So Andrea, I hope I didn't just mess all of that up. But like even I know even <laughs> our schools, like we all have our set up differently. The ones that have their business accounts, like and it just kind of depends on like maybe what like if your husband owns another business or or those different things. And so um like yeah. mine is different than a lot of people's. I can I don't even remember what it's called, but um it is a LLC something else. And so everything's done through that and then we receive a paycheck from that. And so I don't know what all that means. I let my people handle it and I'm like, we've been good so far so yeah all right my Andrea well, probably has more tips but don't you agree Andrea that it depends on each person yeah okay good yeah. <laughs> okay um let's see <clears throat> video tips how do you make a good video one that people would be interested in okay well first off I have to say this was a huge struggle of mine um, and you know, the, one of the people that remembers this, Sabrina, which reminds me, she's so sweet. The first video I ever did was my first time in Hawaii and I was so nervous and I hate making myself talk and, um, I hate any of that kind of stuff. And so just make it fun. I mean, don't be monotone, be yourself. I never redo my videos. I used to, now it's like what you, whatever I say comes out is what's going on. Yeah time to redo them 500 times but just think of something that you would want to learn about or that you um really feel passionate you know watch a lot of other ones and see you know you can look at youtube and see how many you know times videos were watched or liked or all of that but but just just whatever you do be excited about it um be real don't be monotone you know and just um have belief in whether whatever you're talking about but they were very hard for me. And no, they don't have to be 30 minutes. I mean, I sometimes throw them up there in my, like, I do a lot of them, honestly. Like, after I go to the gym, in my car, before I even get out of my car. Because when I get in the house, like, it's good time. I don't have time to do them. It's my neighbor the other day, she goes, do you do, because she's an ambassador on the other side. Not, she can't even see my rest. She goes, do you do all your videos in your garage? And I'm like, yep, a lot of them. <laughs> so I look crazy and, you know, anyway, it's real life. Whatever works. real life. We roll. <laughs> All right. Um, the next one is, you kind of already explained um, how your with your story. It says uh, how you got started. Your ranking timeline. I just want everyone to be aware, like not to compare their ranks ranking timeline. Absolutely. To um, I think that's one of the biggest things that gets people down is comparing people and how fast they ranked up. Um, you see it all across the Jules page. People rank up in so many different different timelines. Um, I see it on my team. You know, you can look at Sarah Marvel's story. If you haven't heard her story, watch hers. I can't even remember the exact timeline, but um, she's a good, you know, a good one to watch. Um, and, and here's the deal. Everybody's journey is different because everybody's life is different. Um, 
Some people have little kids at home. Some people are empty nesters. Some people work full-time jobs. Some people stay at home. You know, everybody's different. Some people have more time to, to devote to it. Some people, their belief um, shows up a lot. You know, they, they just, they have that belief a lot sooner and can, and, and, you know, spread that to everyone. But here's the deal. I promise you, if you will continue to do what you're doing, if you will continue learning, if you will commit every single day to doing something flexus, um, you know, every single day, you may have to give up stuff. I haven't watched TV. I mean, I'll turn it on when I go to bed at night, but by the time I get in bed at night, I hit the pillow and I'm asleep. Um, I don't know the last time I've watched a live TV show that's like from this year. I really don't. Um, even when I'm in hotels lately, I, I just kind of like get excited to have some quiet and I don't even hardly turn it on. Um, but you know, I, um, if anybody knows me or watches me, my kids and my family, my husband, they're my wife. But every once in a while, there's a time that I have to miss a game. And I hate missing games. I hate it, hate it, hate it. But those are little sacrifices I have to make um, so that the big picture, you know, that it, it, I mean, they know, like if I have to miss a game, they know that they get to go the past few years I've gone to Hawaii with me, you know, so it's, the sacrifice is worth it. Um, I'm not going to miss every game. I'm not going to miss obviously like a championship game or something like that. But, um, but you know, it's, it's just, you have to commit to doing it. You cannot do it sometimes. You can do it part time, but you can't do it sometimes. If you only post once, once a week or once every three weeks, um, people aren't going to believe you. They're not going to think that you really care about it. People aren't going to think that you're serious about this. They're going to think it's just a fad. If you give up after three months because you're going slow, that's going to they're you're going to prove them right that it's just a fad. They want to see my very but one of my very very best friends just ordered last month for me. We've talked about it a whole lot for three years, but she just ordered from me last month. If you know, maybe she was waiting to see if it was a fad. I mean, she. I mean, I talk to her every day. She knows it's not, you know. But but sometimes it just takes people to build that belief and want to try it. And so the only thing that quitting is going to do is not going to get you anywhere. And so just don't watch every balance's journey and how fast they're going. Be excited when people rank up, but don't don't compare that because your life could be completely different completely different and so just push forward just set those goals reach out to people make new friends when you make new friends add them to facebook um you know get in facebook groups and start commenting on posts so you find friends there and, and do whatever it takes meet people out and about i was in chicago Scott and i um, and we were sitting there watching the parade in the Garadelli shop and i met a lady and we became friends on facebook um she hasn't done anything yet, but i told Scott, i said she will be something plus us one day. Um, you know, we just hit it off. And so, friend that. Why not? I've made it a habit now, um, like in groups. I've joined other groups. And when I hear their names, like, I'll say it in my head, like, five times so I can, like, not stalk them on Facebook, but I'll find them and add them as the friend. So I just tell myself, remember that name or write it down really quick okay. and Add them to your Facebook. Awesome. You know, something else that I was floored by, um, when we were in Scottsdale a couple weeks ago, I was, and y'all probably saw the videos that I did, um, you, this is just a, the short videos that I did with the, with the diamonds. Um, Jerry and Kristen Abart, they're both diamonds. And um, I, he was sitting with some of the other guys, and I was like, oh, how do y'all know that, like, that we're on their team? I was like, how do y'all know each other? I mean, one was from Alaska, one was from Canada. And they were like, oh, well, we met in a Facebook group. And then we became friends over Facebook. And now they have diamonds on their team because they met in Facebook groups. And I'm like, are you kidding me? He's like, no. He's like, just things that I like. Like, he's real big in videography. And he was like, so I would um, – you know, post, you know, post in those pages and comment on things. And then we, be, you know, people would like what he was doing. So they would go over and personally friend him and he became friends with, you know, people like that. So anyways, I was like, that's pretty, I never even thought about that before he said that. I'm like, that's pretty amazing. Yeah. I think I saw that on his diamond documentary. Didn't they do one on him? He on Der Air, yeah. Uh, Bart. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but th I thought that, that was just, that floored me. I was like, you have yeah. diamonds sitting here that you did not know before you met them on, yeah. on Facebook groups. That's crazy to me, but it works apparently. <laughs> yeah. Whatever works. Okay. Uh, let's see. 
How generous is too generous um, for your team? What other ways do you motivate them without a giveaway or a ton of freebies? And where do you draw the line as far as giveaways and stuff like that? Well, I think one thing, um, you know, how do you motivate them? You want to make it fun, right? And so I know we think I posted the other day, um, do team dinners, do fun things, um, do lunches, do whatever to um, bond with your teammates because everybody wants to be a part of something fun, right? The people that are in it and the people that aren't in it. And so do those things because I promise to get around a bunch of flexes people and get excited and that's going to motivate you first off. You know, get people to meetings. Do what I, I'm sure y'all do. Y'all know what y'all are doing. Y'all are doing amazing. I was trying to tell Scott, my husband, he's like, who are you doing this Zoom for tonight? I was like, oh, it's my California team. I was like, I don't know. They're down the line somewhere. I mean, I knew like what line. I just didn't know where down the line. And um, I was like, but they are rocking it out there. I'm like, they are blowing it up. And um, so, you know, get to meetings because just hearing testimonies, get on Zooms like this. I'm telling you. A conference call versus this to me, this is it. Because I feel like I'm sitting with y'all. I feel like I'm getting yeah. to know y'all. I feel like I'm in your house, you know. <laughs> I do. I'm like, I know what your living room looks like. Um, so anyways, um, but just personal communication is huge. And people want to belong somewhere and people want to be a part of a fun group. So make it fun. Um, you know, it's different for everybody because if you are silver and you're not making a ton of money, you might not be able to do a lot of, uh, of contests. Um, I, at this point, have um, a level is one through three pages for my um, legs that are not diamond. And so I don't have everybody on there. I just have my people that are not in my diamond legs. And so that's where I do a lot of my contests. Um, sometimes on my big page, I'll do contests, you know, for like learning. And I mean, when I say contest, y'all, it can be a $3 bottle of lotion that you get at CVS or I don't know what y'all have. I don't, we don't have CVS here, but whatever. <laughs> the grocery store, you know, the Dollar Tree, Amazon. It doesn't have to be these huge elaborate prizes. And I think that, um, I think that people see that a lot, the big prizes, and they have to think they have to do that. They don't. Like, I love getting anything in the mail. Like, you could send me like a $3 box of Kleenexes and I would be excited just to get milk. So um, don't stress about it. And I mean, obviously I think it motivates people. And I think that the farther up you go, you do have a little bit more to spend on that. So just be wise with your money and your resources. And, um, you know, sometimes like even if you want a prize and you already have it, use that prize. I mean, that's okay too, you know? So, um, Anyway, yeah, it's just different for everybody. But I think just motivating, just keeping in communication and doing fun things together and hopping on the phone and hopping on these where you can see people and be together. I just, I really think that that is absolutely huge. Yeah, we do have a team dinner coming up, so I'm looking That's forward awesome. to that. It'll be fun. And you know what? Like, just talk about life. Like, mine are never, I mean, every once in a while, depending on what it is, I'll be like, okay, I want a couple of people to skip and tell their testimonies if there's a bunch of new people. Or, like, one day we went to lunch and Celeste came and Celeste just like up and was like, hey, whatever, you know, for like two minutes. But, you know, you talk about life, but if you're with a bunch of Plexus people, obviously Plexus is going to come up. Um, when I was in New Mexico Friday night, they did a um, – team social and everybody brought a pink appetizer in um, beverage if they wanted to and um, we played games like we played board games so that was a lot of fun too and yeah we talked plexus some and we just had fun some so you know just make it fun in that um, fellowship really 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 bonds your team and it keeps people together and I don't, wouldn't want to quit if I had a fun group of people to do stuff with honestly. I like people <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. How do we adjust to such a fast growing team? Where should we put most of our energy and efforts? What do you do each month to help keep your team motivated and reaching their own goals? Do you recommend them a cert to a certain website for new ambassadors? Or, I mean, like we're starting to grow really fast. Everyone's team starting to take off pretty quickly. So. Well, you know? I think one, I think that everybody has to take ownership. If you're a leader and a leader can mean that you're silver or two ambassadors, when you have one ambassador, you're a leader. And so I think that everybody has to take control of their team. I think that when you sign a level one, you are in charge immediately of getting that level one trained and teaching them to train their level ones when they get to level one. Um, websites that I send people to, obviously I want them on my team page. Um, I put them on Celeste's team page. Um, because that's a great page for resources too. Uh, Plexus Journeys is a huge page. 
Um, kind of, I have to watch some of mine because there are some of my new ones that really, really say that they just want it for wholesale. And until they really dig in with me, you know, and start, I don't want to put them on so many pages and overwhelm them. But I do like the Plexus Journeys. I like the Pink Aid page. I only put them on pages um, that I know that they're legit ambassadors and that they're not going to quit or go crazy and say nutty stuff on their pages. So Pink Aid's a good one. Um, the pink, I think that was like Pink Drink and Autism and Sensory disorders or something like that um, but those pages I know the people that run them and so I put them on on theirs I definitely um, recommend them watching YouTube videos um, and I'll you know I'll, there's a list that I like to listen to Jennifer Pickett, Ami Darling, Kristen Abart, Melissa Eigenhorst, Sarah Marble, Sonia Dudley, um, Amber Miller I've been watching a bunch of hers lately so just get them watching those and um, you know and keeping in constant communication with them and, and, and just being, um, I also try to teach them to be active on my team page and to ask questions and to, you know, watch what's going on. Um, and so that's how I get people started. But, you know, I personally at this point in my journey, if I get a new ambassador, um, I've been buying them the first fruits binder um, and like a or something to get them excited. But that's, that is my goal is to get them excited as soon as they start and to get them to start working it as soon as they start and building that belief. And I say, you know, if you don't have your own results yet, lean on my belief, lean on my results. That's what happened when I first started was I did not have results and I did not think it was going to work for me, but I believed it worked for my friends. So I could tell people, Oh, this is why I'm doing it work for my friends. And so until I had my belief, I leaned on the others, but everyone has to take some kind of ownership. Yeah. I see such a difference when people do go for it. And like, I've been training that a little bit harder now, like post before you even get your products in yes. the mail, because Absolutely. we give them examples on our team page, what they can, it doesn't have to be, I lost five pounds. It can no. be, this is what Plexus does for other people. And I've seen such a growth. Like yes. one of my, one of my new ones almost went silver before she even got her welcome. Pack. Yeah. Or just That's saying, I'm so excited about this new journey I'm on, you know, or, yeah whatever i mean it doesn't have to be anything huge just like a a coming out a coming out post yeah. or whatever but um, yeah. i just think training and keeping i mean i keep saying it but it all goes back to it even though your team is growing don't lose don't lose the people you have to watch like like i look through and i see if they're because there could be like a level two and a level three that aren't working it so mm -hmm. you need to grab hold of those that they have signed if they have signed yeah. people because those could be a rock star people. And just because they're, you know, two above them aren't doing anything, I always have to be watching and seeing if, if we're missing anybody. Because yeah. there are people under there that want to work this business. And if their ambassador or two ambassadors up aren't working it, then they don't know what to do. They don't know right. what to do. They don't know what to get involved. And I promise if nobody talked to me and nobody helped me, I would quit. I would, you know. So, yeah, I think it's huge. Just, you know, just just watch everyone needs a part of training and just make it a, you know and then be active on the team pages yep. perfect okay um and then one of our last ones oh do you recommend adding spouses or significant others okay so um well, obviously, apparently I do because my husband is under me and he's almost enrolled. But I will say this. He did not join my team until the month before I turned. No, uh, yeah, he joined in October, at the end of October, and I turned enrolled in November. So we were way far on. Um, I will say this. Build your team wide, way wide, before you do. Because um, you don't want to not ever you know you have to be diamond you have to have seven active level ones and if you don't have seven that's going to sink if you have a lot of points not seven level active ones and so build it wide before you add them i honestly wouldn't recommend it i mean a lot of people do this is just my opinion uh the rule technically is we're not supposed to do it to their goal so i don't know if how you know accurate that is but two years ago we were told technically they're not supposed to do it to your goals and they need to be actively working it they want them to get to silver and so um you know that's up to you if y'all have enough friends to do it twice you know if your husband wants to work it if your if your husband doesn't believe in it and you're just signing him up then don't do it scott believes in it Scott, you know, he works it. He also has another job. He works it totally differently than I do, but he does work the business. And so, um, you know, 
they need to have that belief and um, they, they need to be excited about it. But it, you know, everyone's different. I would just recommend growing wide and not doing it too soon. Yeah. That's the last question on our list. So if we want to do some Q and A. Yeah, we have about 15 minutes. So I can unmute. If you need to mute yourself back, you can mute yourself back. So I will unmute. Okay, you are all unmuted. So if you want to mute yourself back, you can. Two boys three stranded on some lots. The helicopter needs to Anybody else up. have anything? The Disney helicopter. Yeah. Any other questions? Oh. I tell you what, I'm going to mute everyone back and then y'all can unmute yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, wait, wait, Chris, I'm not going to unmute you. Hold on. There you go. Okay. Anything okay. else? Um, well, I thought we would. I mean, we're 45 minutes in, but. Um, can you hear me? I yes. have one. Yes. Oh, Andrea oh. or Amanda. Go ahead, oh. Andrea. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so when I first signed up, which was almost a year ago, I read or learned or however that, you know, we're supposed to take slim first thing in the morning before you eat, blah, blah, blah. But then I've heard you say it doesn't matter. Do you have any insight on that? Well, I guess scientifically, maybe that's what you're supposed to do. But I take it first thing. My husband takes it whenever and it works. Okay. So I know lots of people that want to take an afternoon because it helps them crave, uh, curb their afternoon snacking and stuff, and it okay. works. Uh, okay. So maybe scientifically that's what you're supposed to do, but in real life, it's okay. not going to hurt anything. <laughs> <True>. <laughs> yeah. And you're having, I mean, if it's working for you, then, you know, it works. <laughs> so. Thank you. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, how do you respond when uh, you tell a friend about Plexus and they say that they've read bad reviews on Google? Well, you can find bad reviews on Google about everything. And I think this is where knowledge is power. I'm honest, and I'm not pushing it under the rug. A lot, if you read some of the reviews that you read that are bad, um, are people, if you scroll to the bottom, they're people trying to sell other things. Um, or I've seen one that some person has like done a blog and like Betty. reviewed every product except for the one that she's selling. And it all says the same thing about every other brand. Um, so you have to be cautious in what you're reading. You also have to know that every single person in this world can put anything that they want on the internet. Um, so you have to be strong in your belief and know that what Plexus has told us. And um, so you just, I mean, I, people say it all the time, you know, and I'm like, it's not true. I mean, you could put that the sky's purple on the internet and if somebody chooses to believe yeah. they choose to believe that. And I'm not trying to make light of it, but it is what it is. And um, Also, you can Google um, the elephant in the room, Plexus elephant in the room, and it breaks down the Betty blog. Um, that she does and it yeah. I mean what she's you just have to realize that there are people out there that are gonna say bad things and there's people out there that are not truthful unfortunately and there's people out there that want you to believe that because they don't want you to buy plexus mm -hmm. and I mean just today I don't know if it's on my page somebody stole somebody's picture and name made a Facebook page out of it said she was a diamond and started bringing all these people like even Jules were like adding her and, um, like the jewel that found her actually called her and the lady was like I have no like she had no idea I mean she, the lady's picture she's like an executive of something somebody stole her profile made a Facebook page and said that she was a diamond ambassador isn't that crazy I mean yeah. everybody can do anything so that's where yeah. you have to know and if you have questions if somebody comes to that and says something then ask ask a leader you know ask and say is, is this true what do you know about this what can you tell me about this and we can help you figure it out so you can get the answers back but you know anybody can post anything I mean if I don't yeah. like mustard I could post bad things about mustard <laughs> I mean truthfully somebody yeah. might believe it <laughs> All right. Do we have any other questions? I do. I have one question. Okay. Can you hear me? Uh-huh. Sorry, I'm at work. Um, okay. So I have somebody who is not a customer, but she's tried samples and stuff. And she has been telling my other potential customers, like she sends them this voice 
that is apparently a doctor. It's her friend that's a doctor saying that plexus products cause strokes and nobody should do it, which is fine. She can tell whatever she wants to tell. Should I approach her though and and you know try to tell her like not get away from my people, but like know your facts before you're spreading rumors? Yeah, I mean, or, I, I or how would tell you... a lot of people that I would maybe kindly somehow say that that would be really hard for me but but yeah well, I know well like I, I'm not like a confrontational person so right. like yeah I mean maybe just say as you know what I you know can we talk about this can I answer your questions and you know because I know that you're telling other people and I just want to make sure that you know the facts and um because I, I know that that's not true yeah well yeah okay I mean, we have doctors and nurses and pharmacists and yeah Everything else, you know, I mean, we have a, a one close to me, and we went to dinner with him one night, and he's like, I drink multiple slums a day. He's like, so, you know, I mean, just, I would just maybe say, can we talk? Can we can we work through what, what you think of Plexus? And, and you know, um, would you just respectfully, would you stop calling people that we know and telling them this? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's easier said than done. I'm just going to say that. But I mean, try. you don't want people. You don't want people saying bad things. You know that that yeah. aren't true. But you know, just be kind. I mean, kindness goes a long way. Yep. Anybody else? Amanda. Yes. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yes. Yep. You keep disappearing. There you are. <laughs> I know. I I keep having to scroll over to unmute myself. Oh. Um. Okay. So. I have a, lot, a few of my team members asking me, they're adding people, they're silver, they're in between silver and gold, when they should start their own team page. Mm -hmm. So I did not start one for a very long time because I really didn't know to do that. Team pages weren't a big thing when I first started. Um, and so, um, but now I do recommend it. Because I think that you can get personal. I mean, obviously, that doesn't mean not putting them on the bigger team pages, too, because they need to be on those as well. I always say, you know, obviously, on the leaders closest to you and always for sure the closest diamond, keep them on a close diamond page. Just because every once in a while there may be information. I mean, like today, the whole diamond scandalous picture. You know, there may be stuff. There may be stuff in corporate that we do know that we're supposed to let y'all know. So I always say, you know, be on the closest diamond. Um, and then leaders, like in y'all's group, whatever. I don't know how y'all's team pages work. But, I mean, I don't think there's anything bad about having a team page. I think that it makes it personal. I think that you can, you know, that's where you can do your own contest. That's where you can... You know, if you find something that's great for training that you see your team struggling with personally, you can put that on your page and, and stuff like that. So, yeah, I think it's great to have them. I think that one of the biggest problems that um, I see people having is that they're so concerned about what people think about them yeah. when they talk about dietary supplements and um, when they post on Facebook. They're so worried about their image. So how do you get over what people think okay well I struggled with that huge I was so scared I was gonna hurt somebody's feelings or I was gonna step on somebody's toes and or that somebody wasn't gonna unfriend me or whatever blah, blah, blah. you know I I mean huge like every once in a while the devil creeps back in but this is what I know I used to apologize all the time. Anytime, anytime I would even follow up with like my customers that like chose to do plexus, I'd be like, I'm so sorry. I don't mean to bug you. I just want to make sure you're doing okay. okay we don't need to apologize. Throw that out there, right? We have life changing products that work. And you have to find that belief and you have to find that passion. If you don't have that, start watching some testimony. Because I promise you, the three years that I've seen, I've seen life change all over the country and all over the world. And I've seen amazing, amazing stories. A friend of mine that I, I have friends that I've met all over the country that I would have never met. A friend of mine here in Texas that I would have never met. She couldn't get off of the couch a year and a half ago. She had um, several different things and she was in so much pain. Her joints were so bad it hurt her to hold a paper plate of food. Like she had gone from regular dishes to paper plates. Y'all, she just is flying back from Australia right now because she was on vacation on the beach because she hadn't used any vacation days. 
there are so many life-changing stories that you have to find that belief and you have to find that passion. I'm not afraid anymore. And I'm not, not that I was ever ashamed, but I sure don't apologize anymore because we have something that people need and you have to find that belief. And so whatever it's going to take to find that belief, um, you need to do it so you're not scared and afraid and just be bold. I mean, here's the deal. If they're your friends, if they're truly your, their friends, they're not going to not be your friend anymore. Um, if somebody says, I'm tired of you posting on Facebook, just politely say, you know what? I'm so sorry that you feel that way. Um, you're more than welcome to unfollow me. That way we're still friends on Facebook, but you can come look at my page instead of seeing my posts every day. I've never had anybody do that to me. I have had, I know of one person that's unfriended me and we weren't super close friends, but I guarantee like every day in that people you may, you may know thing, her face pops up every day. And I'm like, oh, you just want to punch that, but no, not really. You know, <laughs> it's the only person that I know that has unfollowed me. So, but that's fine. They can unfollow you, but you know what? They might still secretly stalk you. And one day I actually buy flexes. So, you know, it's funny to me the people that really say no and trash it so bad and then end up loving it one day so we just can't be afraid and we can't be ashamed and we can't ab apologize because we do have have something that people need and I yep. think that's just you know building um, letting people know that it's not just weight loss because we're not just a weight loss we're way more than that and so you know just having that attitude and um, I mean if people struggle with that let's do them on that because I struggled big time with that mm -hmm. so, yep. awesome well, we're about at our hour, so... Does Roxanne have her hand up because she wants to talk? Oh. Does she? I'm sorry. Yes? Yes. Yes, I did. Okay. I <laughs> oh. Sorry, I couldn't get in there. No, you're good. Oh, I, had a <laughs> I don't even know how to do that. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Where'd she go? I don't know. Uh-oh. Are you there? Uh oh think she went away. Oh, no. Roxanne. Uh -oh. Did she push the wrong button? I think she, I, I wonder if she'll hop back on. Oh, no. Oh, he's scrambling to get back on. I know. Maybe she'll get back on. Well, hey, while we're waiting to see if she does, um, I just want to thank y'all for having me. This has been so fun. Um, I love, love, love getting to um, meet more of my team members. And it's fun. And if y'all want to do this more often, we can do it anytime. I encourage y'all to Thanks. do it on your own. Um, if you ever need anything, just let me know. I mean, thank you. I'm thank just you so the that wants to help. So. <laughs> <laughs> y'all are so sweet whenever y'all ask, and we're excited. That made me feel happy. So thank y'all for being like that. That's fun. And then if Roxanne doesn't get on, maybe we'll just um, send message yeah, you. Yeah, just her her message me her question, and I'll voice message her back. I voice message oh. a lot. Oh wait, I think oh, she's on. There she is. There she is. It takes there you are. You're back. Okay. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> my phone. I don't know what's going on with it. It's okay. Anyway, my question was, is I'm noticing um, when I'm talking to people about it and giving my little tidbit of my own personal story, um, they're not seeming to be interested in wanting to order the seven day trial or because they're not getting, you know, the bio cleanse and the probio five. And so they're actually asking, oh, well, can you, get, you give me, you know, a couple of days supply of your own stuff? And so some, some are saying, yeah, I'll do the seven-day trial. Like I just had a lady who did a seven-day trial, and then she's interested in doing the triplex, but, you know, with her, um, she doesn't have a gallbladder, and, you know, I mean, she's got all these things going on, and she wants to try it, and so me wanting to get her started, knowing that it, it will get her gut healthy, and, you know, all the benefits that I've personally had, um, I'm giving them my own product. Okay, so well, time out right there, and I'll stop you right there, because you're not supposed to do that. We're not allowed to take bot things out of our bottles like we can do obviously the slims because they're individually wrapped in like the sample you know like the sample of the um body cream and the ease cream but yeah right. so i would just go ahead and finish but that but we're not supposed to do that so but go ahead and finish no that that's what i was i mean i'm noticing to, to try to get them to you know see the benefit and see okay you're yes you're gonna like it or you yeah. know, it's not going to work for you, you know, and I've even really reassured them about the 60 day money back guarantee. Yeah. And, you know, I, 
I'm, I'm noticing I'm getting a lot of people just saying, well, can I have, you know, can you give me a trial of your own or, you know, so what can I do to, I mean, I'm still trying to push the 60 day money back guarantee, but my, I guess my question is, is what can I start trying to do that would get them away from wanting my, you know, mine. And well, I would just tell them that legally we're not allowed to do that. I mean, you know, if they want to try a day of the slim, then, you know, that kind of goes with the territory and that's up to you. If you want to give them a day of the slim or if you want to, you know, have them buy a, a three day and just, you know, there's not much more than you can do to that, do more than that. Um, so, you know, like you said, you just have to remind them of the 60 day money back guarantee and, you know, hope that, that they will try it because yeah, we can't give out, you know, samples of anything else. And so just by telling them that, um, and you know, letting them know that that is not legal to do that. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. Well, that, that's, that's good to know. Thank you very much. Cause I, I will really let them know how easy it is on the new website that they can just by one click, they can cancel it. Yeah. If they order as a preferred customer or whatever, they can cancel it themselves with like two clicks of a button. So yeah. not like they're okay. you know, okay. Okay. Excellent. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. Well, something I had about that too was, I mean, there's probably a reason we don't have a seven day of the triplex because you really the triplex yeah. kind of takes longer to work. Mm -hmm. right. well, I think that right. they, I very really even recommend the seven day, honestly. And I'm not saying don't do it because I do give away seven days sometimes. I'm not saying don't do it ever. But I, I think it goes back to the mentality of everybody thinks it's a quick fix. And so if they don't see anything in seven days, even with the slim, which a lot of people don't with the slim, then um, they're going to be mad and be like, I'm not doing it. The three day, it kind of just gives them a taste of it and see. Um, if I'm giving samples to people around here, I will do the three days, you know, like giveaways or whatever if people want to buy them. But um, like if somebody's around here, I just give them a stick because the stick pretty much is going to do the same day, same thing that a three day does because you're just getting to see the flavor of it. I mean, it may in my personal opinion. Um, I am with you on that one. Yeah. So I just, you know, if somebody does do a seven day, I just very, very, very strongly say, you know, you're not, you, you probably won't see results. And so don't, because people want it to be fast. And we know that for everybody, it's not fast. It may be for one or two out of 10 people, but it's not for everybody. And so we have to change that mindset of people. And it's hard. I mean, it's, it, that's a challenge for all of us. So just, I think giving them, you know, going in like that. It's better to really try and get them to do the preferred customer so that they can have that 30, 60 day or close to 60 day to really see a benefit in that time frame. Right. Because I'm noticing, I'm noticing myself that, you know, after about a month is when people are actually seeing the inches and seeing yeah. the sleep, you know, you get sooner benefits than that. But I mean, overall, it, right. it, it really is that 30 day mark where a lot of people are posting the most positive benefits. So right. I, I'll just keep trying. And now yeah. that I know about not giving my own. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. I didn't you don't want to go to jail. Something. So I didn't mean that. I hope you didn't think I meant that like ugly or not. But I was like, right. <laughs> no, 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 not at all. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so yeah, just, yeah, just, you know, telling people, you know, up front, because I know people, I, I know the mindset of most people and most people just want it to work fast. And so when they're not seeing it work fast, you know, so anyways, but yeah, okay. but especially the triplex, that's not, you know, so many people have detox off of it at first. So if they just had seven days and that's all they saw, you know, so that's scary. Yeah. So, okay, you. perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. All right. Well, it's about, that's about nine o'clock. So we can do this again <laughs> anytime. And like I said, thank y'all so much for having me. It was so much fun. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I'll see soon enough. I will get the recording over to y'all tomorrow. It takes a little bit of time to upload. So I'll get it to you tomorrow if that's all right. That's fine. Okay. okay. All right. Thank bye. you. Have a good night. Bye.